Men who come to the center to freeze sperm come here for many different reasons. They may have just received a diagnosis of cancer or other medical condition in which either the treatment or the condition itself is going to pose a risk to their future fertility. Uh, men may want to freeze their sperm because they have high risk occupations with extensive travel or military deployment. Or men will come here as uh, with their partners seeking fertility treatments and we've recommended that they uh, freeze their sperm as a backup whether it's for scheduling conflicts, to uh, avoid the stress of having to produce a sample sort of on demand, or if the sample itself is of low count or poor quality and we need extra vials in the tank as backup. When a man is diagnosed with cancer, uh, we know that the treatments that they may receive may reduce their fertility in the future. However, by freezing a sample ahead of time, we can essentially preserve that fertility and he can come back and we can check the sam his sample after treatment or we can use what he has stored ahead of time and it gives him uh, multiple options moving forward. It's a very easy process. Uh, the samples can be produced here at the center, at home, or even in a hospital bed for some men who are uh, admitted to the hospital when they receive this diagnosis. This technology is available for men, but also for adolescent boys as well. Um, the process is exactly the same. When we receive a sample for freezing, we evaluate the sample. We evaluate this sperm based on guidelines from the World Health Organization, and what we're looking at are the sperm count, which is the number of sperm in the sample, the motility, which is the percentage of those sperm that are moving, as well as the morphology, which is the percentage of um, normally shaped sperm in that sample. We add a special media that's called a cryoprotectant, and that really just protects the cells from the freezing and thawing process. At that point, we separate the sample into multiple vials and, um, and then freeze and store it in liquid nitrogen. Sperm is frozen and stored in liquid nitrogen, which essentially means that it is at a temperature that is so cold that no biological activity is occurring. So theoretically, these samples can be stored indefinitely. There are virtually no risks to the patient when undergoing sperm freezing. Our prim primary concern, however, is that not all of the sperm cells will survive that freeze-thaw process. But there is typically enough that even taking this into account, the sample is sufficient for what we would intend to use it for in the future.